Hi. Hey, life, world. It's me people. and Corey, because she's an OU. I am. Because she drove six hours. I did. Because she's a good friend. I am. Yeah. I don't know if she's actually liking it here or not. It's, it's big. Yeah, I gave her a tour. Um, so definite lack of Christmas lights. It took about an hour. Really? Yeah. Hey, look at the time. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's not very many Christmas lights or greenery. Because they ripped up all the flowers because it's winter or something. Even though it's like 70 degrees outside right now. It's really nice. Yeah. She has already met a lot of people. Not Connor. But not Connor. But we're gonna... She's gonna meet him today. I'm worried about that. I'm excited. Yeah. Really excited. Probably overly excited. Are you really? Yes. Darn. (laughs) Well, we'll see how that goes. We could even come back. We're gonna have a part two. Um, yo. Yo. I turned ghetto when I went to college. Yeah. No, actually, no, actually, <laughs> Corey and I have not changed. Thank you very much. And it's awesome. Best friends are really cool. Um, that we are. I, are, we are. Arr. <clears throat> my mom got a Facebook. She doesn't even know how to use iTunes, so that's going to be ridiculous, because my aunt set it up for her. Moms and Facebook are strange. Yeah. Because now my mom is friends with my roommates, and she's always like, why aren't you in their pictures? And I'm like, because I don't want to be. But that's awkward. It is. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, Corey's long hair and adorable kitten. I was going to comment on it on a video, but then she came here. So Corey's got long hair and an adorable kitten that she smuggled in. I did not smuggle in. My roommate smuggled in. Okay, but she still loves it. I do. It's cute, as you saw in the other video. Also, Tyler, on one of your videos, I don't remember which one it was, but it was one of them, and you're wearing a shirt, and I didn't think anything of it until the other day, and I was watching Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog. Does your shirt say, this is not the hammer? And if so, does it mean what I think it means? Is it from Dr. Horrible? Do you have a shirt like that? Where And where did you get it? Because <laughs> that's awesome. Tamara wants one now. I do. I have some friends in the Honors College who actually have geckos. They, geckos? That, that they smuggled in, yeah. We tried to smuggle in a gecko because we found one in our fire escape room. But then my sweet mate, like, busted a cap and was, like, freaking out. And was like, get that snake out of here! And we snake? Like, it's not a snake. not a snake. It's a gecko. But one of the geckos just died. And they think it got eaten by the other one. So apparently geckos are really vicious. I don't know. I don't know if you guys are aware, but, uh, I'm a fan of New Music Tuesday. And I always look at the new music that gets put out on iTunes. Yeah, exactly. And so I was looking... And there's an album from Club Penguin. Yeah, the Club Penguin we all know and love. And the song is called, I believe, It's Cool in the Cold. You're kidding. I'm not. It's super lame. You should check it out. Because it's awful. Yeah. There's nothing new here, I mean. Except for the fact that there's two weeks of school left. There are two weeks of school left. Only two weeks! Only two weeks. Granted, it's going to be two weeks of hell. But it's going to be so great when it's over. And it's only two weeks. It should go by really fast since we're dreading it. Wouldn't that make it go by slowly? No, I don't know. You're right. Uh, Never mind. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, these things behind Corey are the Christmas lights we hung up. They're awesome. I would show them to you, but it's daytime. So maybe when we do part two with Connor, not with Connor, about Connor, we can have the lights on. Maybe beautiful. Um, Haley's gone again. <laughs> She's in the city. Which means Oklahoma City. Yes. Not like Norman or Tulsa. Corey's learning. Which is what I learned today. Yay, Oklahoma. I'm still in school, even though I'm Yay, nowhere near mine. Um, Corey can verify now how small my room is. Because she thought I was exaggerating, and I'm sure you guys all think I'm exaggerating too. No, it's tiny. It's tiny. Also, stamp. yeah. How my sweet mate sings opera 24-7. Like we woke up to it this morning. It was. Also, the screaming girls in my hall that I complain about. This is true. They, they literally left the liquor bottles just in plain sight just yeah um 
the fact that campus isn't huge. It's ginormous, yes. I um, spent an hour touring it. Yeah. What else have I said that could be construed as exaggeration but isn't? Huge campus, tiny room. Lots of food options. Lots of food, though. Yeah. Lots of food. I can see where OU gains their freshman 15. Yeah. At Harding, it's like, cat food? Ugh. But here, it's like, food. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a lot of options. Got a lot of them. Yeah. Um. Oh. I need suggestions on what to bake you, Tyler, for Christmas. So I've already got everyone else handled, except for your baked good. So if you could just, um, text me or, or something, let me know. Be truly grateful. And, Tyler, if you could send your TSO money to my mom, that would be fantastic if you see this before, you know, December 20th. And, yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. It's one, oh, it's one, <laughs> wait, I'm doing this back. <laughs> What? No, hold on. If it's straight on there. <laughs> one, nine. Nope, that was nope. backwards. Nine. There you go. Five. That was backwards. Oh, wait, no, what? No, it wasn't. I like. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Wild. Horse road. <laughs> you get the rest. Horse road. Horse road. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Send your money there. Anything else? The room is small. I know. It's so small. I know. Like, I don't believe it. And it's so it's so different than Harding. Like ACU was a little bit like Harding because it's you know Christian, and here it's like yeah we go party and I'm like, I mean I know that happens everywhere else too, but it's just I don't know so blatant. Open. I'm like, well, yeah. I can smell you the vodka on your breath. Mm-hmm. Good for you. Welcome to public schools. You're still in a. That's one of the things about Harding that I don't like. Cause everyone's like yeah I went to this private school and I'm like yep public school what what. Harding is public. No, in high school, I never went to private school. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. And, like, at Harding, I never went, or at ACU, I never went to Fort Worth Country Day, but it's just so, like, and some of the, my roommates, we're talking, this is another reason I hate my roommates, is because they're, like, passively putting me down all the time. They're like, I just don't understand how someone with a public school education is going to survive in college, because I just, I learned so much in private school, and public school education suck. And I was like, they said that? Yeah. To you? Well, I was standing there, and they were dying Macy's hair. Well, Audra was dying Macy's hair as she was saying this. Wow. And I was like, well... Yeah, I mean, I can see where you're coming from, but at the same time, I'm not totally stupid either. Thank you. Yeah. But, yeah. Seriously, though. But my sweet mate came from a private school. She's a little strange, isn't You she? do the math, yeah. Strange people. Oh, yeah. Strange, strange people are strange. strange. Yeah. Like, last night, before Corey got here, and while Corey was arriving, these people I know... That are probably, I'm going to say, collectively, like, the nicest, most intelligent people I've met here. Were pointing lasers at people from the 11th floor windows to see if the lasers were powerful enough to reach the ground. And then they would point them at people. And it was supposed to be fun. And I'm just like... And I kind of looked at Corey, and I was just like, I think you need to unpack or something, and we left. It's just, you know. True story, bro. True story. This is my life. It's frustrating. I'm telling you, man, everything in high school about life was just so much better. We had to talk about it last night. We did. All three of us. Yeah, with Haley. Because, believe it or not, guys, Haley is actually cool, and I like living with her, despite what you may believe. She went missing, you know. Seriously. It's okay. But no, whenever they called me on the phone, Paulina and Tyler and Graham called me, and yeah. they were like, how's living with Haley? And I was like, it's good. And they were all like, oh, she's in the room. I was like, no, she's not in the room. I actually like living with her. I want to get that publicly on record. I do like living with Haley. She's clean. She's clean. We she's respect nice. each other. We, she, Yeah, it's fine. It's great, actually. I can't think of anyone else here that I would rather live with. Can you see her? <laughs> do you ever see her? Um, occasionally. I say hi. Anybody else that we know that came here? Catherine, Racy, Carly. Mm -hmm. That's our age. Yeah, no. None. It's another thing is, for some reason, OU at Decatur is, like, really thrown under the bus. I'm not entirely sure why. Because it's in Oklahoma? But that's dumb. Because it's not Texas? I know, but that's dumb. And there's so many people here that are all from the same school. And they're like, oh, how many people from your school came here? And I'm like, two. And then if you add up the sophomores, six. Actually, maybe five. I think one of them flunked out. Not sure. Well, hey there. <laughs> and then these other people are like, oh, I know 50. 
good for you. Harding Academy's that way. But it's Harding Academy. It's, what is Harding Academy? It's the private school attached to Harding that's, like, it's kindergarten through 12, and then... Oh! It's just a private school that's attached to Harding. Nice. And everyone goes to Harding. Because it's right there. Yeah. I think it's cheaper. Maybe not. I don't know. Don't know either. Maybe I'm mm. crazy. Crazy for feeling so lonely. Yeah. See, I miss friends who can just sporadically start singing. I do that. People think I'm weird. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> what was it last night? The Oh, I started singing Cats. Oh, yeah. yeah. She almost tackled me. I, I like freaked it. out in joy. I was telling her, I saw a guy, um, I was just walking along campus, and I saw a guy wearing a Phantom of the Opera t-shirt and a beret. I almost introduced myself to him. Just like, hi, I need artsy friends. Want to be my friend? <laughs> but I didn't. It's like Facebook, but in real life. All I need was sunglasses. sunglasses. Yeah. Staring at people... And they don't know Facebook in your life. I really hope my mom does not go crazy. She probably doesn't actually know how to work it, so I'm not too concerned. Facebook and parents are scary. Yeah. Twitter and parents are scarier. Really? Why? My mom, you know how my parents have Twitter? Mm-hmm. Well, both of them get my tweets sent to their phone. Like, I get random people's tweets sent to my phone. And it's gotten to the point where I just tweet so much, so they just start ignoring it. But <laughs> I'm still like, mm, this is uncomfortable. Because you can't ever say anything. Yeah. That's, yeah. Like, I can't talk about... A cat. I can't talk about. I don't know. Doing certain things. Nothing like bad. Like what? Nothing bad. Just uh, like, like I don't know. Like going up and down and pranking people. Like my mom would be like, "Why are you doing that? Don't do that." And I'd be like, "That is what, super mom? annoying." Yeah, I'm sorry. So I couldn't be like, "Miss curfew." Ha ha ha. And she'd right. Be like, what the heck? I'm bringing you home. Darn, that does suck. No, she wouldn't do that. No, I just mean. I mean, to not have that freedom. It's really good to see Tara again. It's really good to see Corey again. This has been delightful. Yeah, it really has. I just can't even wait until Christmas, guys. I know. The 15th, except for Paul. So the 18th. Yes. So exciting. It's going to be a party. It's going to be a literally party. eating party. Quite literally. Yes. It's a Christmas party. Oh, and if y'all don't have plans on New Year's Eve. New Year's party. My dad's house is Done. free for the taking. Done. So. Can we shoot off fireworks? Yes, we can, because he's in the middle of nowhere. Hooray. So as long as we promise not to set the place on fire, then. Done. Party <laughs> party. Yay. Okay, well, we'll be back later with part two. Part two. Which is literally just... How okay, I feel about Connor. How she feels about Connor, and we're going to see a ballet. Oh! Robbie. I met Robbie. She met Robbie! He's cute, and he likes Psyche and CIS. So that's good. And he plays Ultimate Frisbee. So I'm telling Cameron to get all over that. This is my official recommendation. I've told you guys about Robbie, you haven't I? get all over that. I'm... I'm... I'm not going to get all over that. Probably not. Apparently he's only pleasant at 2 in the morning. Yeah, like... She caught him in a really good mood. Maybe he was in a really good mood because he was talking to you and everything like that. Mm. Probably doubtful, but, you know. Well. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, comments on Connor. Comments on the ballet, which is Cinderella. Yeah! Sorry, really excited. <laughs> <laughs> really excited. <laughs> and uh, that's going to be that. So, uh, love you guys. And I'll see you later. Later, dolls. Peace out, yo. Bye.